what's going on friends in this video you will learn what it means to pass by reference or pass by value and how python implementation is unique let's say we have a function which adds two numbers together it takes two parameters and as a result two arguments need to be passed to the function call remember that whenever you declare a variable an actual object is created and stored in the computer memory a is just a name pointed to that integer object Pass by reference means that these objects are passed as arguments to the function call and all operations performed on them inside the function will directly affect them since they are references to the existing objects. In contrast, pass by value means that a copy of the value is passed to the function call. Operations performed on the copy does not affect the initial object in the computer memory. Now that you understand what it means to pass by reference and value, let's take a look at some practical examples and how Python's approach is different. Alright friends, let's take a look at this first example. We declared a variable a before calling this function. The variable is passed as an argument to the function. We intend to update the value of a. That is, the integer passed to the function should be equal to 10. Let's run the program to see the output. This output shows that the initial value of a was not affected. The value of a was modified in the function call, but after the function call, the value of a remains the same. Does this then mean that arguments are passed by value in Python, since the original object or variable is not affected? Well, we are not going to conclude just yet. Let's consider the second example. We have a list of numbers declared. This list is passed as an argument to the function call. Within the function body, we update the list, that is, past list dot append. Finally, we print out the value of the list. Let's execute the program. Great! This shows that the original list was updated within the function body. This behavior looks like a reference of the original object was passed to the function call. So any modification made within the function affects the initial object. Does it mean that Python supports both pass by reference and pass by value? The answer is no. Python passes arguments by assignment. We are going to explain what this means. Whenever an argument is passed to a function in Python, a new local variable is created within the function scope. This newly created variable holds a reference to the object passed as an argument, not a copy of the object itself. To verify this behavior, we can use the locus function within the function body. Let's run the program to see the output. Great! This shows a new variable named past underscore int has been created within the function body. When you write past int equals 10 within the function body, you are reassigning the local variable past int to reference a new integer object with the value of 10. This does not modify the original object that was passed as an argument. Instead, it changes what past underscore int refers to within the function body. This is the behavior when a non-mutable data type such as strings and numbers are passed as arguments. Next, let's look at how the behavior differs for mutable objects such as lists, dictionaries, and sets. As usual, a new local variable named past underscore list is created within the function body, but it is pointing to the initial object. Both the inner variable and outer variable are pointing to the same object. A list is a mutable data type, so any modification on this list will affect the original object. This behavior can give the impression that the actual object is being passed. If we decide to say past underscore list equals a new value, 5, 6. This variable is detached from the previous object. It now points to a new object entirely. Any changes on past underscore list does not affect the initial list. Let's run the program to see the output. Great, as you can see, the values of the two lists are different. Another way to achieve this same result is by using deep copy to create an independent copy of the previous object. We need to import deep copy from the copy module from copy import deep copy past underscore list equals deep copy of the past list. This past underscore list is an independent copy of the original list. Let's execute the program to see the output. Great, the two lists are not the same. I hope you now understand how Python passes arguments by assignment. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already.